Hello and welcome to another Spectrum Geeks video. My name is Dale and in this video, I'm gonna to talk to you about Huel. That's right, another video on the internet talking about Huel, but the difference is, I'll say the difference is, all I can tell you is I've bought this myself to try out, to hopefully eat a little bit healthier when I'm busy and yeah, let you know my thoughts over you know, a month or something like that. Okay, so as mentioned, I've, um, Officially become what they call a Hewligan. So this is my Huel box, which I'm going to take you kind of through what I got, why I got it, and uh, again we'll just do a series of videos over the coming weeks to see kind of what I think of it, how does it taste, some of the pros and some of the cons uh, from my perspective to hopefully help you make more informed decisions. Maybe I'm wasting my money, maybe I'm not, um, but if it helps you not waste your money. So. Uh, I will have a referral link down below. If you decide to try it out, you get £10 off your first box. So I've gone for one of their subscription boxes. Every four weeks, basically, they send me almost the contents uh, of this box, which, uh, again, I can change the flavours and what have you on it. So the reason that I'm trying out Huel is I need to eat a bit healthier. I tend to not have breakfast in the morning just don't feel super hungry in the morning and quite often I don't have lunch so then what tends to happen is I may snack here and there and then in the evening and um, you know then probably too late at night eating stuff so I'm going to try uh, and use Huel to kind of make myself have um, some breakfast have some lunch obviously you can control the calories a little bit still have a, a normal evening meal um, right now uh, I am going to aim for a little bit of um, weight loss as well, which obviously this can help with, but obviously it is not a, a, a weight loss product. Uh, but I think if I just manage the calories a little bit easier, obviously, hopefully I won't feel um, the need to snack a little bit because I've got my CAA medical coming up again in a few months. So if we'll just uh, get on top of everything. So a couple of things already that I know uh, I'm not a massive fan of with the Huel is obviously... The price per meal is pretty good, about £1.50 or, or something, which is pretty good, cheaper than the Greg's sausage roll. Uh, probably not as tasty. But um, you can't just buy, you know, one meal. You have to buy a bag, which is like 40 odd meals or, or whatever it is. Um, and there's minimum orders on the website, so like £40 or £45, something like that. So obviously that does put the price to entry up. And obviously if you want to try different flavours, uh, it means you're going to have to be you know, paying more to, to get that option. So we'll see over this little series how I get on. Uh, I do want to try some other flavors, but we started off with this pack. So I'll show you what I've got inside. So you open up the box. And so because I am a brand new customer, you get a couple of things. So I get this Huel um, pasta pot. I think it's what they call the pasta pot. Um, it's basically when you're making, I guess you're their equivalent of a little pot noodle. Uh, you make that in there. So you get that when you're a, a brand new customer so put that to one side also get this shaker so obviously that's what you make your shakes in and uh, obviously you've probably seen some of this in the shops you can buy um, the pre-made shakes already about four pounds in the shops and that also get um, some of these whoa <laughs> measuring scoops so there's four different measuring scoops here um okay they all look like they're the same size. I don't know, four scoops anyway, so put those to one side as well. And then also, a Huel t-shirt, I think I went for the gray one, so I'm sure I'll pop that on at some point uh, in this video. Then uh, inside the box, which you normally get when you've kind of getting your second subscription or whatever, um, is a book all about Huel, some, some of their products, how to make stuff, uh, how you set things up. I've gone for the black edition stuff, um, higher protein or, or what have you. Um, and so this is what I've got. So I've got the Huel Naturally Complete Food 
tomato and herbs. This is what I, mean, I call it like their pot noodle. So this is what I'll be making up in here for lunches uh, in this little black tub. And then the, uh, oh, I'm dropping all the stuff over here. The um, black edition salted caramel. So I've got all the information on there in that. And then not something I really wanted because I'm not much of a, a chocolate or, or energy bar type person. Um, but they have the, the two protein bars in this one as well. So salted caramel protein bar and a raspberry protein bar. So that's what I've got. Um, I'm going to grab a shake for breakfast in a moment. And uh, yeah, I'll let you know what I think it tastes like. Okay, so I've just mixed up the first batch of Huel. So there is a fill line uh, on the bottle itself, which makes it easier to get the 500 or 510 mils of water in. And you add your two scoops. And yeah, the consistency, it's not as thick as I was expecting in a weird way. I guess I haven't tried it yet to see what it tastes like. Uh, but it kind of smells a bit like what I remember Ready Break to be like when I was a kid and used to have Ready Break. Um, just was quickly reading through the little kind of introductory brochure as well. And there's a couple of things in here um, that I remember reading about but I've forgotten to mention that obviously they recommend that you add two scoops to the 500 ml of water and that will give you, um, you know, your 400 calories. If you wanted, um, I guess, more protein, it says add 300 ml cold water um, but of course you could um, reduce the, the number of scoops you put in as well so have uh, one scoop for 200 calories or have two scoops for the 400 and you just give it a good shake for 10 seconds which is a bit of a workout um, and then yeah we'll see how it goes some nice pictures of the and the, the pastry things there, so I'm interested to see what that looks like. Uh, we'll have one of those later today, but let's uh, have a little try. I think the idea of this isn't you're not going to chug it a bit more as a meal. And this is another thing. I thought that this would be attached to the bottle, but it's not. It's just a carrying strap. But um, again, I wouldn't say it smells like salted caramel, but let's taste it. Yeah, difficult for me to make a judgment, I guess, so early on. Doesn't necessarily taste. There is, there is an element of salty caramel in there, I guess. It just doesn't hit you as, mmm, salty caramel. But, um, yeah, it's nice though. It's not um, unpleasant, it just tastes like an oaty, an oaty texture, so. Yeah, I'll uh, drink on with this and then uh, I'll hop in at lunchtime, see what uh, I think of our lunchtime meal. Oh, I'm also trying to drink a lot more water. I'm terrible at drinking water as well, so I've got one of these big 2.2 litre bottles that I can to try and chug during the day as well. Okay, so it's lunchtime now and I've got to admit, I'm still feeling full from the shake. Uh, Maybe because I don't normally have breakfast or it's just doing its job, but I figured I would try the uh, hot and savory tomato and herb anyway. So again, similar process, but I'm only gonna have one scoop as opposed to the two scoops. So then only about 105 ml of boiling water. So you take it, you pour it into the black noodle pot. Um, and then you don't shake it in here, um, you just pop the lid on whilst it kind of cooks itself with all the steam from the boiling water and release the nutrients and stuff. Um, the reason it does have a screw lid is obviously you can kind of, if you're taking it to work or on a trip or anything, you can put a couple of scoops in there, dried, and then um, you know, pop the lid on. The one thing that um, I'm not sure about, and put a comment down uh, in the comments if you know the answer to, Whereas the water bottle has the fill line, there isn't an obvious 
fill line uh, in the cup. So there is a line inside the cup, which I don't know if you can just, probably can't see it, I'll just try and put my finger near it, um, just here. But that's about over 400 ml of water. So I'm not sure. Uh, I said see when I do um, two scoops, maybe tomorrow, if then when you add the 200 ml of water, perhaps it does bring it up to that line. I don't know, but at least for the uh, one scoop, I had to measure that out. So I see a little bit of extra prep. If I wasn't at home, I wouldn't have had anything to, to measure that out of. So it smells pretty good. And the consistency's um, not too bad. It reminds me just of like a, like a risotto or something. Just like that. That's it. And uh, yeah, I'll give it a first try. It tastes really good. It's um, quite crunchy though. Um, and we'll see what it's like. When you add more water to it, you can see there's not really a lot in there with the one scoop. But yeah, it's not um, unpleasant. So yeah, that's me for a bit. Um, I've updated my next order to have um, the Mexican chili one and we'll see that goes, we'll see. Someone at the door, so better crack on. Okay, so just a quick update. Day two, didn't have a shake this morning because um, actually wasn't feeling hungry. And I think yesterday I kind of forced myself to have one. I still can't decide if I should be just making myself have them. I'm not so I'm not hungry later, but I figured I could have the shake later if I'm hungry. But um, again, I thought I'd have another one of the herby saucy things. Um, for lunch and I can confirm that that line in here which I mentioned the other day if you're having two scoops it is around 205 ml of boiling water that you add in it kind of brings it up to that, that line so that's what it's there for there's no good if you've got one scoop so it would be nice if there was a one scoop line and a two scoop line seems they mentioned both of those but um, yesterday was a bit crunchy um, and I wasn't sure if it's because supposed to be in a meeting um, that um, yeah I didn't leave it long enough with the lid on so I've left it longer with the lid on because um, and it actually seems to have absorbed more of the water similar kind of texture as before yeah that's much softer I think I just hadn't left it with the cover on long enough to kind of break down those pastry bits so yeah, keep going. I'll check in probably later on in the week. I'm not going to do this every single day. You don't need to know. Same stuff every day. Isn't it? So I don't think this tomato and herb pastry thing is for me. So we're now a week in, and I think we've got probably one more scoop of this uh, stuff left. I've been eating it to <laughs> get it used up. If I'm honest with you. It's not that it's terrible. If I was stuck on a desert island with just this particular flavour, I would go for it. Um, but, you know, I don't think I'm going to choose this one moving forward. I'm interested to see uh, what the next one is like. So I've asked for the Mexican chili to come next time. Um, but yeah, the tomato and herb one, I don't know, just, it feels a bit bitty and I just don't super do put enjoy it. The shakes, uh, they're still working out fine. Uh, and the one thing that has changed over the week, whereas on Monday, I think I said to you a week ago, you know, I was having the shake for breakfast, then this for lunch, and then a normal meal. Uh, I kind of changed things up. Some days I'm not having a shake at all. Um, and I'm just having the, the the pasta stuff. And then other days I'm not having the pasta stuff, I'm just having a shake. I'm finding that uh, I do feel full. I'm uh, still having to fight back the uh, desire to have a snack and I've not tried over the bars yet. Might have one of those uh, later today, see how I'm going. But um, yeah, it definitely worked in terms of, you know, hunger suppression, I guess. The nutrients and the protein and everything in there is good to give your body what it needs. And me personally, I'm not needing um, the shake 
and the, the pasta for lunch and then a meal uh, in the evening. But past my meals in the evenings are too big, I don't know, but I'm not waking up feeling super hungry, so I'm typically wait until around 12, half 12 ish before I have something. And uh, I'm not eating right now, but I have noticed a slight change in the poops. Uh, never heard of said I had a, a poop problem, but I guess maybe the more nutrient and protein dense food in terms of the, the pastas and the shakes has a change. Obviously, what your bodies can consume and use, and then what you get um, rid of. So, yeah, keep going, um, see how we get on. But, uh, yeah, herb and tomato, or it is tomato and herb, not on my top recommended list. Interested to know in the description, or in the comments, even if this is one of your favourite flavours. Okay, so I just had the last of the tomato and herb nutritionally complete food. Actually, it was the best one out of uh, the whole pack that I had. I put a little bit more water in than normal, and that actually made it better, a better consistency, um, at least for my preference. So I'm going to try that with um, the next set, which will come in about three weeks or whatever it is. Um, so that was good, and I'm just going to try the um, Huel Complete Protein Bar in rice. Just try a little bit of that. I like raspberry. I think the other one I had is salted caramel, so I'll try that one later. So these bars are 200 calories, I believe. Yeah. So typically uh, 400 calories for the shake, 400 calories for the complete food pastry thing, and then 200 calories for this. And again, didn't have a shake or anything this morning, just didn't feel the need. So, very chocolatey bar. Mm, very chewy. Hmm. I'm not a big chocolate bar for person. I think it might be dark chocolate. I'm not a massive fan of. Uh, tastes okay. Um. I'm probably not the best judge because I'm not a big chocolate fan, but it's probably going to take me some time to finish it actually. Um, to be honest with you, I probably wouldn't buy one again. I may look to see if I can change the um, subscription to not include these. Because for me, probably not going to hold bundle on them. Okay, so a little Huel update. I'm just about to have the other protein bar. I think this is week three um, now. And as you would have seen a moment ago, the other protein bar didn't like the taste or the texture of it. So maybe that's not for me. And that's actually one of the things that's a bit frustrating. I logged in uh, earlier to go to my subscription so if I can manage it, remove the protein bars. Uh, and I can remove them. But there's like a minimum order on the Huel website. It's up for like £47 or something. So if my subscription doesn't equate to that amount of money, uh, they won't obviously send the subscription. So uh, I don't want protein bars I'm not going to use, and I don't really necessarily want to buy an extra pack of um, you know, the mix or the pastry stuff each month either. So if that is the case, I'm going to be a little bit frustrated. But let's. Uh, a little book bite of the salted caramel. Let's see what I think. But to be honest with you, so far, protein bars, no. That, that herby pastry thing, tolerable, but not great. But the salted caramel shakes actually taste alright. So, I'm going to say again, this one actually smells a bit nicer. No. It's not for me. Maybe it's because I'm just not a chocolate person, but... No. Sorry, <laughs> I'm not going to be eating any more of that. So, yeah. See how we go. I am going to go into the next month. Try the other 
the pasta mix and um, uh, the shake and see what I think but right now I'm not sure if the hill is going to be for me maybe um, I might see if I can just buy one off of the shakes or something that might be a bit better but let me know do you like the protein bars or do you think they're a bit minging as well okay so it's been about a month now with the heel actually it has been just over a month because my new stuff arrived yesterday so i'll just mention what i've got and then i'm near the end of giving you my thoughts on the heel stuff so i got uh, i got rid of those nutrition bars because i think they're absolutely disgusting uh, i got the mexican chili in terms of the kind of i still call them the pot noodle mix very similar to that herb one i had uh, a much nicer taste but still very similar consistency and then this new one the spaghetti carbonara which as you can see here actually looks like proper food um so i'm going to try that in a moment and then tomorrow i'm going to try this one which is the strawberries and cream flavor and then i'll give you my thoughts on the heel so let me just try this so as you can see let me get a bit closer to you look it actually looks like spaghetti carbonara i think i put slightly too much water into this one i think i mentioned previously i noticed a little bit more water made it better for my taste buds yeah i think if it wasn't so watery which is my own fault that's actually pretty good mm. and it actually looks pretty much like the pictures whereas the other ones i think <laughs> don't so yeah catch you tomorrow when we try the strawberries and cream but uh yeah i'm gonna quite enjoy my lunch today okay so black edition strawberries and cream flavor does it smell like strawberries and cream It does have a strawberries and cream taste to it. Similar consistency, obviously, due to the mixture to the sort of caramel ones. But again, I say I would happily drink both of these without any issue. So, yeah, sort of caramel, strawberries and cream, ones I've tried and I do enjoy. So, I'll come back with my conclusion of my Huel experience over the last kind of six weeks. So I don't know if these little clips have been helpful uh, in regards to Huel, but I guess I should kind of make my conclusionary thoughts. I forget already now if I mentioned it. First of all, is that you do not leave Huel leftovers in your shaker. Done it for two days. The stench was absolutely disgusting. I had to put sterilizing tablets in there and everything to get rid of it to make it safer human use once again but in terms of fuel my thoughts uh, i think with lots of things on the internet it is a bit overhyped but it serves a purpose if you're looking for something where you can easily control your calorie intake when you're busy uh, and you kind of want to make yourself be more structured if you want you know 200 or 400 calories uh, per kind of meal session whatever it may be i think it works i do personally like the shakes um, I think they work um, pretty well and are good, again, if you are traveling somewhere, easy to put together, um, they taste good and they actually do feel filling. The, again, I keep calling them the pot noodley things, but the pot noodley things, um, that spaghetti carbonara one, I have liked that one. The other ones, again, they don't feel like real food. To me, you know, it's more like a baby food concoction, but again, d depends what you're you're looking for. So I wouldn't um, not recommend Huel to anyone. Again, I'm just trying to be honest in terms of my thoughts and experience. So I have paused um, my subscription for now. I've still got um, plenty to be getting through, and that's really my other downside of it is, yes, it's relatively cheap per meal, but you have to be spending you know, pretty much 50 pounds an order really to make it worthwhile unless you're churning through this stuff then you know 
I prefer just to be able to even pay you know, a couple of quid for delivery, just buy a a black shaker mix or one carbonara thing without it being mandated um, that you have to buy you know a minimum of forty five pounds or whatever it is. Maybe I'm wrong and I'm doing it incorrectly. Feel free to correct me down in the comments. But that's my thoughts on Huel. Definitely something to check out if you're looking for something that you know tastes relatively nice in terms of the shakes and gives you the ability to control uh, your calorie intake. Again, I think it is aimed more at um, you know, a healthy nutritional balance input in terms of food as opposed to a diet product. Again, they don't claim to be a diet product. Obviously, you can lose weight um, on any of these products. You know, Less calories in, more calories burnt, you're going to lose some weight. So, don't know if it was helpful. I'm going to put this video out there anyway just because you know, I took the time to do it. Maybe it's of interest, maybe it's not. If you have found the video uh, helpful, please like it. Consider subscribing to the channel. All different other, all, all different, I can't get my words out. All different types of content on the channel. Tech stuff, flying, batteries, solar, cars, other reviews and what have you. So uh, consider subscribing if uh, that's your thing. And again, if you like the content on the channel and it's ever helpful as well, please consider can, becoming a uh, Spectrum Geeks YouTube member for just 99 pence per month and you can cancel at any time. So thanks as always for watching. Take care of yourself until the next video. Goodbye for now.